I'm Rafael from uh, Nobots Project, and today we're going to present a Java Challenger about method reference and lambdas. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. This is the Challenger. So we have here a uh, lambda with uh, Chuck Norris, and he's giving a roundhouse kick. And here we have a method reference. Another roundhouse kick is being done here by Chuck Norris. And as you know, if Chuck Norris just gives a roundhouse kick, the galaxy is finished. Then once we have those runnable instances and we run the run method with the lambda and also with the method reference. And here it's the Chuck Norris Pojo. There are just some basic fields here. So that's it. I'm going to give you some time and then feel free to reach out with the answer when you are ready. Okay, then are you ready, Rodrigo? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Let's go then. So I'm going to execute here the program. Let's see the answer. -da -da -da. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Almost. <laughs> Let's see why. <laughs> oh, I just missed that. Oh, yeah. Instead of zero, 01, it's 1 and 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I messed it. Okay, sorry about this. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so let's run here the program. And the very first thing to realize here is that when we use the lambda, it's actually lazy. So here we are just uh, initializing this uh, universe impact runnable. So right here, this uh, instance won't be really instantiated, okay? But here's different. Here it will be instantiated. And it will be instantiated just once. So when we use method reference, here uh, this instance will be just instantiated, just created at this line, OK? So let's go. Yeah, as you can see, we are entering in the constructor. And then we're going to print the galaxy is finished. And then as we are running the lambda first, it's going to be 1 and then 2. And then realize here that on the method reference, this instance was created just once. So the value here was already assigned. So what we have on the galaxy damage is 0. OK, so let's see them 0 and 0. So as you can see here, the result is the galaxy is finished, 1,200 of damage. OK, so we can uh, go once again, because this one uh, is a bit tricky. Maybe if we go again with just more details, it will be clear, more clear. OK, so the first thing here, we are initializing the lambda. So we are basically here passing this method to this runnable. And here we are using a method reference. But remember that this method reference will be created just here. So as here we have the number 0, the number 0 will be assigned here right away. And then we're going to print the galaxy is finished. And only here, where the lambda is used, that um, the instance is going to be created. OK, so you can see here. and. Yeah, the number of kicks will be one because the method reference was instantiated before. And at that moment, this variable was uh, increased by one. So that's why we have one. And then we go to the second lambda method. Yeah, and then we have two. We can see here on the console. And then as we are running the method reference and the method reference instance is just created, when we declare our uh, method reference. So both of them are going to be zero. And it's it's very handy to use lambdas or method references because we just save a lot of code. Instead of creating a whole method here with maybe anonymous inner classes with, with a verbose code, we just use uh, either Lambda or method references. You can see here that those concepts are 
basically the same as it was being done in Java in the older versions. But the difference is really that we use less code and we can make our code more clear with that. So it's, it's much more powerful to use those uh, concepts instead of writing a large amount of code. Okay, and another thing that you have to realize here is that if the, if the compiler is able to just guess what is happening, you'll be able to use lambdas or method references. There are some rules to use them. So the compiler can't guess things that are ambiguous, for example. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you have any questions about this challenger? No, I'm good. Okay, thanks, Rodrigo. So that's it then. Uh, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay, guys, so that was the challenger about method reference versus um, lambdas. And yeah, it's, it's, they are very tricky because method reference are instantiated just when you declare them. And on the other hand, the lambdas are just lazy. They are just, uh, the instance is just created when you actually run the method. So be aware of that because this might cause a lot of uh, tricky bugs. If you have some uh, business requirements, some logic in your constructor, so be aware of that. And always when possible, use method references and lambdas because it will make your code more clear. And that's good because we, we want to create our code for the developers, not for ourselves, because that's what makes a developer good. I mean, every, Everyone can, every fool can write a code that the machine can understand, but good developers write to other developers, okay? So that's the message for this challenge. And um, if you want to know more, go to notebooksperson.com and then you go to Java Dev Gym and then you can uh, practice uh, your job skills with Java quizzes. I'm launching them every week. And of course, if you like the video, give a like and get subscribed because it will help myself and to help yourself as well, because um, if you subscribe, I'm going to be able to create better content to you. So that's it. Uh, see you next time.